In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we are on the 22nd Sunday of the Ordinary Time. The readings we have today from Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 7 to 9, Romans chapter 12, verses 1 to 2, and Matthew chapter 16, verses 21 to 27. Soon after Peter confessed that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, Jesus mentioned the cross and the suffering that are necessary components of his messianic mission. Peter could not understand the implications of Jesus' statement, and he immediately rejects such a notion of the Messiah. Peter's reaction can be seen as normal because no one would wish oneself suffering and shame, and no one would wish loved ones such. The quick rebuke of Jesus is very striking. Get behind me, Satan. You think like humans, not like God. Bearing in mind the praise he received after his profound confession of faith. Get behind me, Satan. Sounds like the same rebuke to Satan in the wilderness. But there is a difference between the two. Origen, one of the greatest biblical scholars and commentators, suggests that Jesus was saying to Peter, Peter, your place is behind me, not in front of me. It is your job to follow me in the way I choose not to try to lead me in the way you would like me to go. Satan is banished from the presence of Christ, and Peter is recalled to be Christ's follower. We can find three conditions laid down in the gospel of today for Christian discipleship. The first is to deny oneself. Jesus tells, deny yourself. This implies evicting self-thoughts and desires out of our hearts. This is an invitation to walk in the path of Jesus himself. St. Paul presents this beautifully in the letter to the Philippians, chapter 2. His state was divine, Yet he did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself to assume the condition of a slave and become, became as men are. And being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. One important aspect of denying ourselves is to constantly remind ourselves that all we have come from God. Our successes or the goods, the good and privileged positions we may occupy in the society should inspire us to gratitude to God and service to humanity and not pride and arrogance. The second condition that Jesus places before us in our Christian discipleship is take up your cross. This reminds us that there is no life without challenges. We all experience sufferings in different ways. As Christians, our personal sufferings become our share in the cross of Christ. St. Paul describes his own sufferings as marks of Jesus' passion and death. 
we are encouraged to take up our cross when we suffer by serving others like taking care of the sick and the loved ones or our life partners we are encouraged to take up our cross when we give ourselves wholeheartedly our health wealth time and talents to others without any reservation the third condition that jesus places before us for our christian discipleship is follow me following jesus means that as a disciple of christ we should live our lives according to the word of god obeying jesus commandment of love in the second reading paul advises the roman christians that they must live their christian lives in such a way that they differ from everyone else in that they should become living testimonies to christ and his values saint paul calls everyone to adopt an attitude of sacrifice in the worship of god in order to do this they must explicitly reject the behavior of the world around them and follow jesus following christ could be explained with a latin expression ubi dolor ubi christus which means wherever there is suffering there is christ jesus placed takes jesus takes his place within the pains and sorrows of all of us in the pastoral documents of the vatican to council gaudium et spes the church clearly states that the joys and hopes the grief and anguish of the people of our time especially of those who are poor and afflicted are the joys and hopes the grief and anguish of the followers of christ as well the church identifies itself with everyone that is poor that is afflicted that is suffering and are open to god the question that we need to ask ourselves today my dear brothers and sisters is do we see christ in the faces of the suffering humanity or do we just sit and judge them we know there is so much suffering in the world today we see it in the faces of those who are forced by war to leave their homelands to other places subjected to the rigorous process of being accepted as refugees in foreign lands we are we are we see suffering on the faces of people who are displaced due to natural disasters we see suffering on the faces of those who lost loved ones to terrorist attacks which happen often these days we are called to empathize with those who suffer in matthew's gospel jesus says i was sick and you visited me naked and you clothed me hungry and you fed me this is the key that opens the door to the kingdom of god therefore let us ask ourselves a personal question today do i become a living testimony to the presence of christ and his values in today's world may god bless each and every one of us and may god bless us in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen